Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another one of my uh, traditional wet shaving videos. Uh, this is uh, Sean and um, today I'm going to be uh, featuring this. The uh, Mr. Taylor Shaving Cream from uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. Um, this is my uh, first time that I'll be uh, using this cream and uh, from what I've uh, already uh, traced from the smell, it, sounds, uh, it smells very masculine and uh, I'm quite excited to uh, try this out. And uh, for today's uh, aftershave, of course it's only uh, appropriate if I bought the uh, Mr. Taylor's uh, aftershave along with the uh, shaving cream from Taylor Bull Bond Street, of course. And uh, the pre-shave lotion, yes, uh, Taylor Bull Bond Street's aromatherapy uh, pre-shave oil. And to um, do all the cutting, it's my uh, Merker 34C. Yeah, very elegant in design. Yep, quite maneuverable with its size. And I've equipped that with uh, one of these Astra Superior Blades. Okay, and uh, last but not least, it's my good old uh, horsehair brush from, uh, oh, there we go, Vylon, and uh, my ceramic shaving bowl from a uh, local barber shop. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I'll uh, go ahead and uh, get started. I just have to soak up the brush a little bit. So how's everybody doing today? Today is uh, Sunday, Sunday uh, evening here in uh, the Canadian province of Ontario. Mm -hmm. It's a nice uh, sunny July evening. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, whip this up here. Oh, nice and soft. There, that should be uh, good enough. Just close this up here. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love the scent. Yep. I can uh, trace its uh, ingredients of sandalwood and cedar and citrus. Okay, I'll go ahead and lather up. I think I'll just add a little bit of water here for the right consistency. I think it's getting nice and thick now. I like my cream nice and thick. How about you? <laughs> there. I think that's rich enough. Okay, I'll just have to rinse my face and apply the uh, pre-shave oil. There we are. Go ahead 
with this. It's uh, sunny here and uh, normally it's appropriate to use uh, hot water on the uh, cheeks to uh, open up the pores. However, it is uh, rather hot here around 30 degrees Celsius. So, um, I just use, uh, I'll be using a uh, cold water for my, uh, shape, for this shave instead. Okay, I think that's suitable enough. Get started. <laughs> Have to use every bit of the cream. <laughs> All right, there we are. Just uh, topped my uh, cheeks, my face, with icing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. First pass with the green. Oh, and I forgot to mention too that uh, I'm using a fresh blade right here. Yes, this uh, lather, this uh, cream right here is quite rich. Well, I, I thought it was time for me to try out a very, very classic. Uh, sent from Tail Tailville Bond Street, so that's why I purchased Mr. Taylor's shaving cream and aftershave.
Yeah, I think I'm beginning to agree with uh, all the uh, positive reviews about this uh, particular scent. So, yeah, very classic. But I think this particular scent right here is more suitable for, um, you know, the mature man. Somebody um, who has come of age. And uh, this Astro Blade right here is uh, certainly uh, helping in to uh, remove all this uh, hair. Yes, I have plenty of the uh, regular green packaged uh, Astra Blades in stock in my uh, shaving den. However, I thought it would give the, these blue ones a try. I have to say, they're working very good. All right, there we go. Yes, looking great. First pass done, on to the second. All right. I'll go ahead and lather up for the second time. So uh, I hope you're all staying safe wherever you are in the world. Staying safe uh, in the midst of this uh, coronavirus pandemic. There we go. On to pass number two. Going cross grain.
Yes, cream's providing ex excellent cushioning. I think. I'm rather impressed by this uh, this particular Astro Blade. This kind. It seems to work well uh, uh, inside this um, Micro 34 razor. Doesn't seem to be uh, too sharp or too dull. Well, the online. Uh, Retailer I uh, do business with most of the time, Fenrahin.ca. They said uh, these are very uh, smooth blades. I think um, this cream, th this particular shaving cream smells so good and nice that uh, it might just become one of my uh, favorites of Table Revolt Bond Street. That's how pleasant it smells. I think it might even be better than um, the German street scent. Yeah. This, I find this uh, particular shaving cream smells uh, similar to that of uh, the Windsor scent from Dr. Harris. Well, it's more subtle, but uh, however, I don't think uh, vetiver is uh, one of the ingredients of um, Mr. Taylor's shipping cream. Now, as a wet shaver. I tend to um, gravitate towards uh, vetiver sense. All right. All right. Second pass done, on to the third. All right. This will be my third and final pass, going against the grain. Yeah, yeah, you can certainly uh, use uh, only uh, your fingers to extract the cream prior to shaving. Like you can just uh, stick your finger inside the tub and apply it uh, to your face and use your brush. However, I like uh, mixing it up in a bowl at the start.
putting the icing on the cake. <laughs> Take this out. Apply it all over my face. Sp spread it evenly. Originally, uh, when I was at least considering purchasing, it, purchasing uh, Mr. Taylor's shaving cream, I uh, had uh, second thoughts about it, but uh, curiosity got the better of me, and now I'm glad it did, because I think I have a new favorite shaving cream from Taylor Gold Bond Street and uh, it is this oh yes now the king of the hill king of my hill <laughs> mm. alright third pass against the grain Yes, a little while ago, I got to learn the uh, name of the founder of uh, this uh, brand. His name was Jeremiah Taylor, and uh, he founded Taylor Vold Bond Street in 1854. So well over 160 years. It's pretty impressive. Yes, I think um, I'm so impressed with this cream that When I run out of it, I'll buy another uh, tub. Smells so nice.
Yes. If only, uh, yeah, I don't have anything against uh, those who shave with uh, pharmacy grade razors or this uh, shaving gel, but uh, for those who haven't tried uh, this kind of shaving yet, wow, you're missing out. So many uh, great creams, scents to choose from. It's much better for your skin. It's like, this style of shaving is a ritual. I get so excited to uh, do it every day. Yeah. For me, this is a royal treat. Yeah, and this particular scent, it's not overpowering either. great. It's just, it's just like I've uh, stepped out of a high class barber shop. All right. Shaving's over. And for the post shave, uh, Mr. Taylor's uh, luxury aftershave balm. Yeah, the gel is clear. The balm is clear, I should say. Because with a few of these uh, other aftershave bombs, uh, they appear milky. Uh, I just do this to make sure the aftershave sinks into the pores. Done. Yes. Looks awesome. Feels awesome. Oh wow. That's a baby smooth skin. All right. Yeah. Okay. So 
it's the end of the shave. So uh, just to recap, this uh, video featured Taylor Roll Bond Street's Mr. Taylor Shaving Cream. I think uh, I think um, this is now a new winner for me. This has now become my uh, favorite uh, scent out of all the uh, Taylor Roll Bond Street scents there are. Yes. It used to be uh, German Street, but now that has been debunked. And uh, for the blades, Astra Superior Stainless in the blue packaging. These are made by uh, Gillette, by the way. A, uh, my good old ceramic bowl. And uh, for the brush, I, we use the uh, Vylon Horsehair, company out of Spain. And the aftershave, uh, it was only appropriate to use Mr. Taylor's uh, Luxury Aftershave Bomb from Taylor Bold Bond Street. And last but not least, the uh, Aromatherapy Pre-Shave Old, Pre-Shave Oil from this same particular brand, Taylor Volt Bond Street. And oh, of course, yes, the uh, Merker 34 razor. Okay, so um, that's it. Be sure to like, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I have uh, plenty of other uh, videos there that you can uh, check out. And, uh, yep, feel free to do so. Okay, so um, I wish you um, stay safe. And enjoy uh, excellent shaves. And I'll end by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.